Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful, fully loaded 2013 Winnebago Light 5 30 FW RES triple slide fifth wheel. This is fully loaded, does have the full body paint option. There are no decals on this coach to worry about fading. It is a gel coat finish, easy to clean. You do have the beautiful front molded and painted fiberglass front cap. Does have the LED lights to accent when you're camping or if you want to hitch up. It's easier to hitch up. Coach is a little dirty right now. Uh, it's got some bugs on the front, but uh, anyway, the owners just did a little wash job on it. It's been sitting in his barn. This uh, coach is stored inside. Huge storage up in the front area. This coach is equipped with the IntelliJack leveling system. I'll show that to you on the back side. The awning is a brand new uh, 15 foot power awning. And uh, the original awning, uh, it got caught in a windstorm and kind of messed it up so the owners went ahead and got a brand new one. This is the first time it's ever been out. Show you that full body paint gel coat. This is going to be one of the best finishes you can get on a fifth wheel. Beautiful. Okay. You do have the two 30 pound LP tanks. You have one on the other side which I'll show you. Slam latch baggage doors, gotta love them. Uh, all the uh, compartment doors are all insulated. This is an extended season camper. You can go into cold seasons. Uh, the uh, underbelly is fully enclosed and heated. And uh, this is a true lightweight fifth wheel. Uh, there's your aluminum framing. Uh, this whole coach is a full aluma frame construction. Slam latch baggage doors are really nice. Show you the enclosed heated underbelly. All your holding tanks are all protected from cold weather. 110 receptacle and cable hookup outside for camping. Plug and in opposite, op, uh, odds and ends. There's your beautiful Light 5 logo. Uh, it is the lightweight uh, line from Winnebago. Uh, this coach is 32 feet 7 inches long overall length and weighs right around 8,500 pounds does have the upgraded tires tires were replaced uh, about a year ago uh, anyway but uh, does have the optional uh, aluminum alloy 16 inch wheels but the tires were replaced uh, last year and they are nitro filled There's your first slide out. First slide out's about uh, 12 foot long and it's about, uh, about 3 foot deep. Uh, the window tint I believe is an 80% 80, 80 tint. Again, let me show you that full body paint. These are not decals. These are all uh, painted graphics. That gel coat is real easy to clean. Back up here, show you the paint scheme. Got a little rack here on the back. Uh, that's for their generator. You can ask the owner about the generator. Uh, as far as I know, it does not come with it, but uh, you can ask them if you're interested in a generator. Spare tire with mount. I believe that was part of a package. Does have a ladder to get up to your full walk on aluminum framed roof to access your two AC units. Again, this is fully loaded. Uh, you do have the slide out awning package. You have slide out awnings over uh, the first, second, and third slide out. All the awnings are in excellent condition. Do want to point out the owners got into something. Coach is pretty much excellent condition. The uh, uh, owners got into something and just bent this ladder here, right here. Uh, anyway, it's a non issue. Ladder still works. Uh, but anyway, I find it important to point out everything. And the current owners, uh, found it important to 
tell me about it I would have never noticed it so uh, but I did check this coach for water damage uh, inside and out uh, there is nothing at all wrong with this coach beautiful coach on the back side here I'll show you the hookups you do have the 50 amp uh, shore power cord here you do have, it's a marine stall cord you unplug it and you can stow it away uh, nice clean look when you're driving down the road or when it's stored away you do have a uh, forgot to what the size on the uh, freshwater uh, holding tank is on this but it's definitely a large one more than enough for this uh, coach there's a shot of your beautiful uh, 16 inch wheels aluminum alloys and you do have the Equiflex system on here, the more ride Equiflex. It's a, it's a, a softer ride, better ride than just your regular uh, leaf and spring suspension. There's your furnace, exhaust. Uh, what's really neat is uh, Winnebago even painted uh, all the access covers and service panels. Here's a service panel to your refrigerator. They even painted this. Uh, some of your coaches might be a somewhat of a, a, a full body or a partial body paint, and these access covers will be just white. Uh, that's access uh, refrigerator access to your eight cubic foot refrigerator that I'll show you inside six gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater flip a switch 15 minutes to a half hour later you're ready to go here's your hookups here uh, if you want to well when you're hooking up your water uh, you've got uh, there's uh, your hookups for water there's your uh, black water uh, I'm sorry your your sewer flush black tank sewer flush right here rinses out your toilet tank so you don't have to drag a hose anymore to wash out your toilet tank there's your gate valve your gate valves are all enclosed and heated in the compartment area so you don't have to worry about the gate valves freezing up a lot of times uh, you might find on some of the fifth wheels especially the uh, midline fifth wheels the gate valves will be hanging up underneath exposed to the elements this is a cool feature uh, cable and satellite hookups right here easy to figure out Another slam latch baggage door. This is uh, the back side of your large uh, compartment area. And again, this is a heated compartment area. There's your uh, IntelliJack system. It does have memory, uh, so it knows where your uh, truck settings are when you're backing up, hitching up. It's a pretty cool system. And that was an option. Slam latch baggage doors, beautiful insulated baggage doors, outside shower, hot and cold running water. Here's your 30 pound LP tank on the back side. And there's your power jack legs in case you don't want to use the memory leveling system, the auto leveling system on this. You can do it manually. Uh, this is your light for your LEDs on the front. Yeah. Anyway, turn that off. I'll show you the back side here before I go inside. Beautiful coach. This is the second owner. I knew the first owners and uh, the current owners bought it uh, a little over a year ago. And they've only used it a few times. Uh, they're upgrading to a class A motorhome. Go ahead and go on inside here. camera lighting adjust give you an idea of the floor plan here this is the rear entertainment floor plan okay in the living room start off uh, your first slide out is on the back side uh, next to the kitchen it's going to be about eight foot long and it's about three foot deep does have the L shape or J lounge, which was an option. Uh, this is the ultra leather J lounge with the hide bed. You can sleep two adults on here if you want. I'll show you the fabrics on that ultra leather. All the fabrics in the coach inside are, are pretty much uh, showroom condition. I will show you one of the uh, rock, rocker recliner chairs that have a little bit of wear on the headrest, but I'll show you that to you here in a second. Second slide out here, uh, this is going to be your boot dinette and your dual rocker recliner sofa. Um, this was an option, this setup, and uh, usually you got a boot dinette, but uh, they did opt for the original owners, opted for the uh, boot, uh, the from the boot to the freestanding table and chairs setup. 
Just have storage up underneath the seats and they are in ultra leather. And I believe the woods all throughout this coach is a cherry. These are the upgraded rocker recliners. Cloth was standard. Again, all the fabrics are in excellent condition. With the exception of this chair right here. A little wear and tear. I do point out everything. But uh, I'm guessing that's just from somebody uh, sitting there. I guess uh, long periods of time or something. I don't know. Everything else is beautiful. Rocker recliners. Uh, does have uh, night shades all throughout the coach. Show you the window treatments here. Winnebago did a great job on the window treatments. The colors are tans, golds, and browns. Show your cabinets. All your drawer fronts are all solid wood. Uh, again, I believe they're cherry with a brushed nickel uh, hardware finish. And uh, I don't know if I point this out, the slide out is about uh, 12 foot long and three foot deep. I pointed out in the beginning. Okay. Your rear entertainment here does have, I believe that's gonna be a 27 inch flat screen Jensen. Does have home theater, surround sound. Uh, the stereo has everything that uh, you can imagine having on a RV uh, camping uh, stereo, MP3 ready, uh, uh, of course DVD. Uh, and CD, uh, HDMI hookups, so you can hook up smart devices. Uh, and it is home theater. Let's crank it up. I can't sleep. Yeah. Anyway. You go to bed. I come down here. I do what I know. Pretty nice sound system on this coach. Lots of cabinets. Uh, you do have lots of 110 hookups. I try to show them 110 hookups here, 110 hookups here. You do have a 12 volt hookup for smart devices here. And of course your cable hookups, another 110 hookup here. I'll try to show all the hookups for 110 and 12 volt. Uh, all your AC is all ducted all the way through. Uh, the one in the living room is a 15,000 BTU quick dump AC unit. Get with the owners, I'll let them know it's a little dirty here. But uh, anyway, that's the quick dump. You can open up the louvers, does a quick dump. Once it cools off, you can shut the louvers off and then you have ducted AC all throughout. The coach, you do have a second AC up in the bedroom that's going to be a 13,500 BTU AC unit which I'll show you another 110 receptacle here all your furnace uh, heating is all ducted all throughout you have a shag carpet I'll show you that shag carpet before I go in the kitchen area like a shag carpet all your carpet is in excellent condition all, the whole inside and out is pretty much showroom condition on this coach and I think most dealers would agree storage here Upgraded Corian countertops. It's not the Famica tops. Nice double bowl sink with lids. You have the pull out mullen sprayer faucet. Some of the best uh, countertops you're going to get in the fifth wheel. Again, lots of storage. You do have a lot of residential feel to this coach. Pull out full length metal ball bearing drawer guides. 22 inch oven, that's the largest they offer in a fifth wheel. Three burner cooktop, gas cooktop. I believe the front burner is going to be a high output. It does have the uh, lid on this. Uh, that might have been part of a package on this coach. So you have more counter space. Microwave, we are hooked up to 110, so I always check to make sure the digital readout lights up. Uh, range light with hood and fan. Okay. Nice area up there for decorations if you want, and more storage. Okay, eight cubic foot, gas electric Dometic refrigerator. Just turn on the, uh, turn on the fridge and pretty much uh, does its thing, so. And this does have the optional uh, raised paneling, wood raised paneling. Uh, more storage, I believe that's a pots and pans drawer. Yeah, it is, but we're using it for rags and odds and ends. Okay, pantry area and more pantry area in your central command here. Show you the pantry area before I get to the central command. Okay, this is where you're gonna figure out where you are on your holding tanks, your batteries, batteries fully charged, fresh water tank. Um, I believe that's a 56 gallon fresh water tank. More than enough for this coach. Uh, uh, black tanks, uh, it's gonna be your toilet tank. 
Gray tank one, that might be your galley, and then they have a gray tank two, and that's gonna be uh, for your bathroom for this shower and the sink. So, pretty cool. Uh, all your porch lights, uh, exterior lights, scare light or security light. Uh, and then uh, your water heater, as I said, is six gallon gas electric, direct spark ignition. So if you're boondocking, hit the switch for LP and 15 minutes later, you're ready to go. When you're hooked up, uh, the electric, then just hit the electric, 15 minutes, you're ready to go. You get the idea, water pump, that's obvious uh, for water pressure. And then you have uh, slide outs one, slide out two, and then your main awning, power awning. Easy to figure out. And it's your thermostat for your furnace. Uh, and your AC. Okay, go up into the bathroom here in the master bedroom. Foot flush porcelain toilet. Glass enclosed shower with skylight. A lot of your ultralight is only going to give you some kind of a curtain or a plastic door. Nice vanity area. Again, 110 receptacles here. Nice medicine cabinet they give you. Sometimes they'll just give you a mirror. Uh, anyway, and then you got you have more storage here, more storage here, and you are ducted AC and ducted heat in the bathroom. Some of your lightweights will not offer that feature. Okay, back into the master bedroom here, queen bed. Uh, this is an ultra plush mattress. Lifts up, lots of storage up underneath there. Uh, Beautiful headboard, by the way. It's, like, it's got a little cubby in there where you can store uh, smart devices or whatever. This was the option, the third slide out. It's in the bedroom, it's the closet slide out. This was an option that the uh, owners paid extra for. And the slide out's about, uh, it's about uh, five foot long and it's about a foot and a half deep. Nice, another closet. On this side of the bed, more storage. You have a, I believe they're calling this a 20 inch flat screen. I uh, believe. And uh, you do, this is your 13,500 BTU AC unit in the bedroom. And you do have the shag carpet going all throughout up into the top level. Slide out button here for the bedroom slide out. I think I got everything. If I didn't, I do apologize. It's a beautiful fifth wheel. And again, the only reason why the owners are selling this coach is because they're upgrading to a Class A motorhome. You want to come and see the camper just call the number on the ad you deal directly with the owner and uh, if you like this video appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up on YouTube you can always follow help sell my RV uh, just to keep up to date on RVs uh, available in the Louisville area for sale by owner you can always uh, follow help sell my RV on Facebook Twitter Pinterest and YouTube thank you